Hello there friends. So in the last video, I have demonstrated you how to go about creating a new chart of account structure for your GL accounting key flex field. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to go about creating a new structure instance from the GL accounting flex field structure that you have created previously. Okay, so let's go back to Fusion SAS applications. So here we are and before I proceed ahead, I'm going to quickly show you the release and version we are on. So we are on release 13 with a version of 23D. Okay. So we're going to close this and um, as you can see here, we are still on manage chart of account structure uh, page. You can hit the done button. You can create the structure instance right from here using this particular button. Alternatively, you can go via the setup and click on the task manage chart of account structure instances. Okay, so here you've got to first uh, search for your chart of account structure. So here is the flex field, which is accounting flex field, and in that you've got to go into manage structure instances. Okay, and hit the plus icon to create a new structure and let's give a name to this one or GL accounting let's say accounting instance okay the API will be pretty much same thing and I will give orange GL counting flex field structure instance okay I think that name makes sense I'm gonna give the same description it's enabled and dynamic combination creation allowed so I think it shouldn't be allowed it should be one time setup but uh, in demonstration instances we usually allow that and a shorthand alias also you can optionally enable if you want to create aliases and uh, then I will choose the structure here which is what we have created and as soon as we chose our structure it's displaying all the associated segments and the associated value set within those segments out here okay so there are five segments you have created all those are displayed over here so I'm gonna simply hit the save and close so what I see over here is you know required is not there so ideally you know you should go back and make changes so to enable it to required so I'm gonna hit the save and close button okay and then I'm gonna hit the done button I will go back to manage structure and I'm going to look for my structure here in edit mode okay and one by one I will open all and I will see is it required you don't have the required uh, option over here is it not yeah maybe it's coming from the value set possibly yeah but never mind I'm gonna hit the save and close button and again hit the done button okay I'm here I'm gonna click on deploy flex field to deploy this flex field again because we have just created a structure instance so in order to use that structure instance you've got to redeploy the flex field again Okay, so this is all done there are no errors in terms of deployment so hit the ok button and come out of this now you see what you have to do we have created a hollow structure for our uh, GL accounting flex field which contains five segmented structure and we have 
created the associated structure instance. Now, in order to use it, you've got to have values in the value set, which is uh, over here, right? So, um, so you've got to go and manage the values of the value set and add those values. For example, for company, you've got to create uh, a value set for Orange uh, New Zealand Limited. And uh, likewise, for uh, department, all the departments within your company, you've got to create uh, code and associated values. Likewise, you've got to do it for all the five segments over here and associated value sets. Only then you can use it in your transactions later. Okay, so how to go about populating the value sets uh, which are associated in accounting flex field structure is something I'm going to show you in my next video.